what we're going to need to do is two things. The first thing is I'm going to invert this. I mean, if you want to see what it looks like, I'm going to show you. I'll stop viewing the mask. Okay? Black hides things, so the middle part's black. Uh, but what I'm going to do is adjust it and choose invert. Invert means make it a negative. If you watch the layers panel, look at where the black stuff is. You see how it just switched it? But you can see how the middle you can see through slightly. Can't you? You see a hint of a checkerboard? And that's because if I look at the mask, it's not white in the middle. I can see detail. So all I need to do is choose Image, Adjustments, Levels. And we're going to adjust the mask with levels. The slider in the upper right forces areas to white. So if I pull it over far enough, we should be able to get it so that center truly became solid white. And I could grab the middle one. That's going to control the transition, whatever I'd like. Then to simplify things, I might put a layer underneath. I'm just going to create what's called a solid color layer. Not that color. And I'll put it underneath. You can put anything under there, just so you can see it. And then to make this look a little more interesting, you could style it. You can go over here and add a drop shadow. These are completely optional steps. <laughs> drop shadow, you could add uh, bevel and emboss. All that kind of stuff. But get the idea that you can start with a ripped sheet of paper, or you can start with the next time you spill coffee on your tablecloth, go, ooh, take a picture of it, and paste it into a mask. And suddenly you can have your picture inside that shape. You know? uh, so when I'm walking around, not only am I taking pictures of textures that I see on walls and clouds that I see in skies, anytime I see interesting shapes where it is a dark shape on a light background or the other way around. I'm taking pictures of it. 